What is going on everybody? Kenny Customizer Depot here. And today I have another review for you for the Solar Color Dust, the uh, UV and solar changing pigment. And this color is peach. Let me just read a couple of things off for you guys so that way you guys can understand a little bit more about the solar color dust, uh, color that changes in sunlight. Uh, what they they recommend over here at the instructions it's mix one gram to one fluid ounce of clear base and apply over a white surface uh, direct sunlight or uv black light works best for color changing effect so constant exposure to the sun can eventually burn the pigment and damage the color changing effect so that is uh that's what that says as far as the instructions go and uh, what we use we use angela's neutral acrylic leather base sorry we use angelus neutral acrylic leather paint uh to get the uh to, to mix with the uh with the pigment and uh, what you want to do is you really want to mix this up uh and uh, try to stay by that that rule of one to one if not a little bit under so that way you don't have to do a lot of coats the angelus leather paint is a little bit on the thicker side so what you want to do is you want to actually uh, use some too thin and or some GAC 900 depending on the medium that you're about to uh, use. In this case, for test purposes right now, uh, we're going to be putting this on a piece of leather. Uh, so I have a regular white piece of leather here and I'm just going to paint. I'm going to use a paintbrush to put it on. Uh, I wasn't going to use the airbrush because I'm not doing like a like a massive test. I was just doing it on a piece of leather as you would put it on like a sneaker. So this isn't the same exact type of leather that you would find on an Air Force One, but it is very, very uh, similar. So it's it's not that hard leather. This is a much softer leather, something that we use for watch bands, but you could use it for anything, really. So now um, we're going to give it a couple of coats and then we're going to use our heat gun. And what we're going to do is heat it up for a little bit. And now that I'm done, I gave it about a good three coats. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to test this out. And you can see the color change happen immediately as soon as I get to the sunlight. Um, since I'm in a, in, a, in a room and it's not necessarily dark, it's just that there's no sunlight coming into the room. So this is what the pigment looks like. And uh, if you guys found this video informative, Please uh, hit the like button as well as subscribe to this channel so that way you can see more videos just like it. We have an entire series on solar color dust pigments. If you want to share it to like-minded indiv individuals, that would be awesome. Don't forget to check out solarcolordust.com so that way you can get some of these pigments as well. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please hit us up at Customizer Depot on all social media. And I will see you soon. Keep crafting, guys.